po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si G. Tanji. Exciting po because it's another Talk Tuesdays para sa ating buwan ng Hulyo. Pinag-uusapan po natin ang being Americanized, yung ating pagkatao at ang kultura nating Pilipino. Nawawala ba ito? Uh, kasama natin to talk about this, Carolina San Juan, an adjunct professor at Cal State Dominguez Hills for Asian Pacific and Women's Studies. Her research focuses on popular entertainment including Bodobil and recently comedy skits by Phil M. YouTube celebrities. Kasama ulit natin si John Paul de Guzman, postdoctoral scholar at the UC Center for New Racial Studies and a lecturer at UC Santa Barbara. He studies the intersections of race, space, and activism. And kasama natin si Carol Ojeda Kimbrough, an adjunct faculty in Asian American Studies at California State University, Fullerton, where she specializes in the Filipino-American experience as well as Asian American women and families. And lastly, Enrique de la Cruz, Professor Emeritus of Asian American Studies, Cal State University, Northridge. Pag-uusapan naman natin ang kultura ng pagiging Americanized. So thank you once again uh, to our panel for being here. Every one of you has really your own sort of sensibilities and thoughts on this very broad topic. So maraming salamat po at uh, marami po ako natututunan sa inyong lahat. <laughs> so okay, let's talk about this. Ang kultura ng pagiging Americanized. Uh, how do we start this conversation? Uh, Carol. <laughs> oh, Carol. Uh, Carol. Yeah, Carol. Uh, okay. Diba? Because uh, let's face it, um, Filipino na pumupunta sa America, uh, I meet Filipinos. Isang taon pa lang nandito. Hello. Oh, marunong ka ba magtagalog? Oh, marunong po ako magtagalog. <laughs> Nangyayari po ito. Totoo po ito. Bakit? Bakit kaya? Um... Mas, uh, actually, maski sa Pilipinas, pag manu manood ka ng mga any TV shows, si mga ibang Pilipino sa mga game shows, pag nai-interview eh, pero, uh, pero hindi ko alam, yung nagiging American accent na yung Tagalog, mm -hmm. hindi ko naintindihan din yun. Ano? Um, uh, uh, Pinag-usama natin, to, medyo natatawa nga ako. Um, pero dito, parang kailangan mo talaga malus yung accent mo para maintindihan ka in a way, ano? They will make fun of you, oh. especially in school. When you have a, a kid that's just immigrated here, a heavy yung accent, uh, the other kids are not kind. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Diba? Yung bagong dating ako, yung Baskin Robbins, they have 31 flavors, ano? Paborito ko, banana. So, tuwing mag-order ako ng banana, binibigyan ako vanilla dahil hindi ako naiintindihan. <laughs> Vanilla, banana, oh. oh. So, I had to really learn to twist my tongue and figure out how to say banana. Imbis right. na banana, ganon. Ka oh. Para maintindihan lang ako. Oh. So, but people in entertainment <laughs> here in Hollywood, you see the Salma Hayek's, they are still able to retain mm -hmm. their accent, you know? Mm -hmm. why, why is it so looked down upon in our community? Well, Part of that also has to do with the again with JP and you know the the, the racist culture in in many ways. Uh, <clears throat> a French accent has mm -hmm. this extra cachet, uh -oh. okay? But if you had a pigeon accent in Hawaii, they might not even hire you as a radio announcer or radio. Uh -oh. Talk show. Uh -oh. They expect this straightforward. Uh, you know, right. American, neutral, uh, like right. sort of neutral. a neutral right. Right. Uh, accent. Right. So, kasama din yun sa ano sa aspects ng kultura dito talaga, and the re the history and the legacy of racism here, and and the Eurocentricness. Right. Mm -hmm. Yun nga Eurocentricness. Because uh -huh. in fairness, naman talaga, uh, <clears throat> I mean the it is the Western more than Americanized. It is the Western. No. Now he, he, here is the other side of that. No. Uh, we've always been hy Filipinos have always been a hybrid culture. I mean, because we have been hybridized by the Everybody. 300 oh, Spanish oh. and then the Americans. Oh, sino ba tayo? The, oh, oh, the British came in oh, there. Oh. The Chinese came in yes. there. You know, so we, our culture is is uh, is uh, has been hybridized in so many ways. So in many ways too, tayo. No, it's easy for us to adapt. Mm -hmm. To adapt and, and reappropriate mm -hmm. yes. for our identity and our own empowerment. Yes, mm -hmm. but but that's the thing. This assimilation, right? Mm -hmm. uh, is that a good or bad thing? I mean, uh, we're so good at it, right? We're so good at 
losing the accent and fitting in and speaking like this but why cannot why can why can't we speak like you know when my daughter makes fun of me when i get mad because my filipino accent comes out and i'm like oh you cannot do that you know and then she'll answer me in that in that uh, tone and you know the accent and i'm i'm, I'm looking at her as like you're making fun of me right now <laughs> so, so the culture it, of being Americanized. But it has to do with class. Absolutely. Also, it's yeah. class, mm -hmm. right? Because we have, I mean, I've taught Tagalog, mm -hmm. and the classes are full, and there are waiting lines, and we've had 40, 50 years of PCNs, mm -hmm. so our children assimilate, and yet there's this longing, mm -hmm. right? It's this longing to know about this culture, mm -hmm. but then they learn about this culture, and it's like, oh, it's not of a, they would want to be like, um, they don't want to be Kiapo, right? They want to be... Forbes Park. Forbes Park, yeah. Park okay. right? They want to be Makati. So uh -huh. it's class. It's this idea that like, I'm willing to be Filipino if I'm rich and educated, oh. right? But because the representations of Filipinos have always mm -hmm. been poverty, Right, there's yeah. been this kind of like poverty genre in film. Yes, and they call it poverty porn even. Poverty porn, and then you get the hypersexualization of Filipina women. Mm -hmm. So if the representation of your identity is lower class and negative, well then you don't want to be associated with that. Exactly. But if it's like Makati and you can Social. Social. Oh, well, well sure. Now I want to speak the Galog and I want to be gallivanting of you know Galibanting. Galibanting <laughs> and then that's awesome. And and they brag about their vacations. Oh I went to the Philippines and yes, I went, I went to, to, all to Palawan, these, and Palawan and Barakay and, Barakay and, Barakay and all these fantastic yes. things. It's class. That's mm -hmm. right. And it's a destination yeah, now. Right. Diba? Right. Oh, oh okay when we return pag usapan naman natin how do we connect or engage with mass culture? Diba? Uh, that's what we talked about. But we're, we're going to talk about uh, to create our identity as Filipino Americans. Uh, that's the difficult thing, right? How do we do that? We'll be right back. <laughs>